Welcome back to the show. We are back to talk about something very important. We've talked about it on the show before, and that's personal care products. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people out there, we, we think about what we're putting into our bodies as far as what we're doing food-wise, but as far as the products, the cosmetics products, the shampoos and so forth that we're using, I don't think we put a lot of thought into it. So who better to talk ab uh, about this subject to than Dr. Natalie Beauchamp joins us here on the show Hello. again today. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Excellent to see you. And this is something we haven't talked about with you yet. Yes. Personal and I must products. make a disclaimer before I start. I okay. am by no means a cosmetic expert here. Yeah, okay. okay. So what I'm sharing with you is to make people aware in the first thing I'm going to say is don't put anything on your skin that you would not eat. Okay. That's you remember huge. anything from what I'm saying today, that's huge. I mean, that is huge. That leaves a lot of stuff off the market. I know. Yes. I'm thinking of what I use in the morning mm -hmm. before I come here, and I don't think I would eat very much of it except my lip gloss. Well, I have a little game for you guys. So okay. let's start with a few facts, all, all right? right? So, for instance, did you know that the average person absorbed about five pounds of cosmetic each year? So women, if you want to lose five pounds, here's your... your Seriously? Your yeah. Just... And then 10,500 chemicals are used in cosmetic and only 11% have been tested for safety. I read the, uh, an mm -hmm. article about that yeah. only, only last week. I'm going to talk yes. about some resources huh. that people can go. Uh, chemical okay. com compounds created before 1970s are grandfather and they do not require safety testing. So if a product's been approved way back that it was safe, then it's not so tested So if, if it was approved in 1968, it, yeah. it doesn't have to be tested again. It, it can again. be grandfathered, yeah. And yet only 11%. That so what so people understand, have to understand is that there's no regulation. Even with right. products, um, you know, a shampoo can call itself organic blah, blah, blah as a, bl as a brand, but th if there's no testing and regulation. So you really have to be careful. It's not like food uh, where, you know, you can't put organic if there's none, you know, a certain percentage right. and so forth. Okay. So um, what else do I have here? Oh, think about nicotine patch. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, estrogen or nicotine patches, we put that on our skin, and it's absorbed through the bloodstream. Yeah, so right. again, think so of everything. So why can it not happen elsewhere on your exactly. skin? Exactly, or any other products for that yeah. matter. Yeah. So these are pretty pretty cool facts. Huh. Now, a little game that I thought I would have you do, and I'll be curious to see what, uh, what you're saying. So oh, no. what oh, are you wearing? Oh. If you were stranded on a desert island, which five products would you choose to take with you because you cannot live with them? What products would I have mm -hmm. to take? Five. Yes. You only have five. Five? You pick yeah. five of your personal care products. You're going to an island. You can only bring well, five. Well, if I'm on an island, if it's south, I would want my sunscreen. Okay. We're going to okay. talk about that Good after. Good choice. Yeah. Okay. So like yeah. some sort of moisturizing yeah. I would choose sunscreen. That. Yeah. I would do a sunscreen. Um, toothpaste. Yeah. Yeah. I totally want bring my toothpaste, toothpaste man. Yeah, man. <laughs> or at least a nice plaques or something. Yeah. You some know, kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. Some kind of mouthwash, yeah. right? Um, uh, gosh, bar I can't soap. do this I'm on gonna bring television. A soap, yeah. Bring a bar you. of soap, yeah. you know, got to stay clean. Yeah. I don't know, you could probably find something on the island that would, like, you could, could, you could use aloe. Well, yeah, there are aloe plants there on the island. Things. I'm just so kidding. You're being creative, <laughs> just kidding. I like that. Okay. Um, I'm here I am thinking about my last episodes of Lost and what they <laughs> used. <laughs> um, would you bring shampoo? No. No? No. Okay, well, you're pretty good. You're ma minimizing things, but I have a list here of things that we use on a daily basis. And in my book, what I do is I go over a woman's scenario from the time the alarm goes off in the morning. Right. By the time you're out the door, you've used 12 to 15 products, and that's being gentle and, right. and, 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 and conservative. With okay. Well, I will put using. in something here. Now, you didn't mention whether or not I would be on television on the island, that. or if I am alone on the island. Okay, there's a big <laughs> difference. Okay, <laughs> if I'm on television. Let's Let's say there's a small colony. <laughs> what would you now bring? My red lipstick. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the point is, I'm just going to rhyme through okay. it there. De deodorant, antiperspirant, sunscreen, shampoo, conditioner, soap, body wash, um, body wash, anti cellulite cream, shaving cream, body cream, face cream, concealer, foundation, blush, perfume, bronzer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara. You see where I'm going with that this? That sounds like, like my morning. Well, exactly. So, you know, we oh do put it on. Oh my goodness, you women put that much stuff on? I know, five yeah. pounds worth, supposedly. Yeah. So. Five yeah. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now what I have here is a great site to go to is the Enver Environmental Working Group, and I think it's E 
wg.com and they will review all kinds of products and tell you it's, if it's safe. It's not always updated because I know some patients mm -hmm. have come up uh, to me with different new brands of makeup and asking me if it was good or bad and so forth. So right. not everything is tested, but do your uh, due diligence. So cosmetic um, hazards, basically I pulled out the main one. So we're looking at lead. So again, lipstick oftentimes has it. Aluminum, which is a big one, can be found in eyeshadow. Parabens is a big one as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, of phthalates and SLS, which is sodium uh, lauryl sulfate and coal tar. That's six. Talc, propylene glycol, propylene glycol, mineral oil, not powder, but oil, and fragrances. So these are um, and fragrance, nine or that's ten. A, that's in everything. Yeah, it just says fragrance. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I exactly. Buy, I buy a soap, exactly. It's fragrant. Yeah. yeah. Have you looked so, at the ingredient on things? It's yeah. like, wow, you can't. Uh... Well, it's okay. So if we go to this website, we can put our look for our product, and it will say, most likely. Okay, that's most okay. likely. And there's a lot of them um, affiliated. Uh, yeah. yeah, there are a lot of affiliate links where they can guide where they can guide you to uh, okay, as good. well. And but, as you uh, said, with a lot of these, going back to the article that I mentioned, I read they were saying they don't even have to list anything. There's there's about there's could be 15 ingredients in the in one product yeah. that aren't even listed on yeah. it, yeah. right? Because they can so, just throw out anything. Yeah, the regulations are, are different. So unbelievable. I I brought with me a few things that uh, by no means am I promoting those specific brands. Sure, yeah. it's, they're great, uh, okay. but d these are alternatives. So this one here is a um, deodorant. So it says I'll right on it, it aluminum, paraben and propylyl uh, glycol free, so it's pretty obvious okay. that it is. I got this one at uh, Pantry Plus in Orleans, so health food store that are geared Can towards that. It? Yeah, it's, it doesn't smell too bad. This one is a crystal well, as an alternative to deodorant. Okay. So you just uh, put a little bit of wa water and then you can use that as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. To taste, Based. and again this one is organic, so it doesn't have the harsh uh, chemical. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a um, body, uh, sorry, a, a face wash that mm -hmm. is awesome. And this one has the logo on it. Um, yeah, the EcoCert logo in the back. So you know oh, it's see. certified. Okay. All right. And then this is the body cream that I use. And um, I buy a lot of my stuff on Mercola.com. Okay. Uh, just love it. And this one, um, just to prove a point, I ate a little bit of it <laughs> because oh, it's yeah? organic. Yeah, I wanted to make a point when You're, I was You have to do your research, right? Well, exactly. So this is all organic. You look at the ingredient, you could be eating it. And right. that's, the bo that's the cream that I How I was use. it? Like, would you put it on toast? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Susan Phillips, if you're Maybe watching, she will. you'd put it on it. You'd put anything put it on it. Well, it does sound better than the stuff you yeah. were describing, I tell you. Um, okay. What about makeup? These are all... Yes. Well, this is where we go to um, mineral-based makeup. And again, I don't know anything about TV, so maybe mineral makeup for age definition, uh, high definition is not good. I don't know any mm -hmm. of that stuff. But for daily uh, use, mineral makeup, uh, what happens is the four ingredients are uh, titanium dioxide, mica, iron oxide, and zinc oxide. Okay. And these are safer ingredients to use. Okay. okay. Right. Now, I'll be honest with you, by... The afternoon, you probably won't have much left on. Okay, but, so you have to reapply. But, you know, you might have to reapply. But to me, it's a small price to, to, yeah, to no pay. Kidding. Yeah, and now, you get to take a break, too. Yeah. Out of your you day, go, go exactly. reapply. Now, uh, some of these makeup, some I've heard of mineral makeup on mainstream stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. hear about it in the big names, too. Are they also, if it says mineral makeup, are they still Again, safe? you have to you do have to your, checking. yes, you have to, you have to, to do, I would, I would personally go to a company that does does just that okay. Uh, okay. because I think it's not to say that there's no other brand of makeups that are not mineral makeup but are still uh, herbal based that are really safe like I mean like I said uh, this is not the answer to everything here but it's to make people aware and I think if people get anything out of today is anything you apply on yourself think about right. it mm -hmm. no, so I listed point. four sites here um, the AWG as I was saying skin deep uh, cosmetic database and then uh, cosmetic ingredient panel Healthy Cosmetic Party Kit, which you can download uh, pretty cool stuff on these sites. Okay. So it's, it's really good. Excellent resources. And again, I don't know how much time we have How much here. time do we have? Oh, we're done. Oh, my we're goodness. We're out of time. Well, you know what? We can continue this next time. Sounds good. Uh, we'll can come you in email talk those, web, those websites and we'll I post sure them? Can. Okay, I sure great. can. Perfect. Yeah, we'll post it on our Facebook fan page. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's excellent. Good. Dr. Perfect. Natalie, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you yes. so much. Thank you. If you Thanks. want to find out more about Dr. Natalie, visit www.drnataliebeauchamp.ca.